Commentary. Be yourself, is one of those inspiring catchphrases which is tossed around like a beanbag. Modern variations like, you do you, embrace your truth, and, be your best self, have cheapened the whole idea. Of course, there is nothing new about this motto. William Shakespeare's, Hamlet, included the famous piece of advice, this above all, to thine own self be true. Today's moment of movie wisdom is from, Easter Parade, 1948. This scene takes place 40 minutes into the 103-minute film. Famous dancer Don Hughes' Fred Astaire tells his inexperienced dance partner, Hannah Brown Judy Garland, that he no longer wants her to mimic his former partner, Nadine Ann Miller. He realizes that the reason they haven't been successful is that he's been trying to make Hannah into something she isn't. He tells her that he wants her to be herself now, and that's when he discovers her true talent. In 1912, Nadine and Hughes are a popular ballroom dancing couple. As Don brings the glamorous young woman armloads of gifts the day before Easter, it's obvious that he has feelings for her beyond a work partnership. As he discusses their upcoming dancing engagements, Nadine coldly tells him that she's accepted an offer to star in a show without him. She is unmoved by his pleading with her, both professionally and personally. Their mutual friend, Perpetual University student Johnny Harrow, Peter Lawford enters this tense scene and can't believe Nadine's disloyalty. After Don storms out, Nadine reveals to Johnny that she is interested in him, not Don, although Johnny refuses to respond to her advances out of loyalty to Don. Johnny follows Don to a bar, where Don tipsily declares that he made Nadine everything she is and that he could make any other girl just as good. To prove his point, he chooses a random chorus girl, Hannah Brown, and offers her a huge amount of money to start dancing with him the next day. When she realizes who he is, she eagerly accepts the job. Don isn't terribly pleased with Hannah's dancing skills and homespun looks, but he tries hard to make her into the glamorous, exotic Juanita. It's only when Nadine confronts him about trying to turn Hannah into a copy of her that he realizes he's been taking the wrong approach with his new dancing partner. As they start performing numbers which highlight Hannah's great singing voice, perky personality, and comedic timing, their duo takes off. Meanwhile, Johnny meets and falls in love with Hannah. Although she is happy to go out with him, she confesses that she is in love with the business like Don. The scene, Hannah goes to Don's apartment for a rehearsal. She arrives late because she got caught in the rain after having lunch in a drugstore. She is wearing a gaudy red suit and a matching hat with a big red feather on it. He says that he's discovered what's been wrong with their routines, she's been trying to be something she's not. I've been trying to what? Hannah exclaims in disbelief, since he's been micromanaging everything about her since the day he hired her. Don points out her outfit and hat, and she frustratedly mutters that she knew she wouldn't look good in those extravagant trappings. When he mentions the way she moves, she strikes a comical pose and says through gritted teeth, you told me to move like that. He simply states that he's changed his mind now. Don goes over to the piano and finds some sheet music. Handing it to Hannah, he asks her if she knows the tune. She takes a quick glance and confirms that she does. Don sits down at the player piano and begins pedaling away as the song's strains pour out. The song is, I Love the Piano, with songs and lyrics by Irving Berlin, like all the music in this score. While she was stiff and a little clumsy in the formal ballroom numbers Don trained her to do, she is natural and full of pizzazz in this peppy specialty piece. Her dynamic voice and unique personality shine, and Don is delighted to see how engaging she is while crooning the song. Then, he jumps up from the stool and encourages her to dance with him. They start doing a soft shoe shuffle, and they laugh playfully as they enjoy dancing together for the first time. Its significance. This scene is a turning point in the relationship and partnership between Hannah and Don, as well as the overarching story. Once they stop being the pretentious Juanita and Hughes, they find great success as Hannah and Hughes. Hannah is a little confused by this change, and she's initially frustrated in this scene. After all, she's been trying her best to do everything Don has instructed her to do. She has silently accepted his strenuous dance training, her corrections, clothing choices for her, and even the changing of her first name. She wants to please him very badly, not just because of the generous salary he is paying her but because she is growing fond of her employer, despite his brusque nature. When Don first hires Hannah, he is just out to prove something to Nadine. He doesn't care anything about the stranger whose life he has totally uprooted. Ironically, it's Nadine herself who gives Don the idea which ends up being the secret to their success. Earlier that day, Don and Nadine end up alone for lunch together after Johnny cleverly arranges the meeting before taking his leave. 
As the conversation grows less friendly, Nadine angrily asks Don to tell that, seamstress, who's dancing with him to stop imitating her. Don argues that Hannah has never seen Nadine, but she counters, yes, but you have, adding that all her friends are laughing. It's at that moment that Don realizes how wrong his approach with Hannah has been.